Okay, today we're going to go over C4. C4 is your fourth cervical vertebrae, and that comes out basically right in the middle of your neck. Because remember, there's seven vertebrae in your neck. So C4 is right in the middle. It's kind of the transition between your upper neck and lower neck. Now, what does C4 control? C4 controls a lot of your sensation, your ability to feel basically the base of your neck going out into your shoulders now on both sides. And it controls a lot of the, the smaller muscles within your neck. So what we call your like scalenes on your sides. It controls this little muscle back here, which a lot of people have tight, and it's called your levator scapulae. Um, that's what allows your shoulders to kind of shrug up like that. So people that are very tight there all the time, the nerve that comes out and supplies that is coming from C4. So you could have a problem in your neck right there. So some conditions people may have if they have a subluxation at C4 is just abnormal sensation feeling going you know, over into your shoulder. Um, they could be, again, really tight through there. They could have tight muscles on the side. These, the nerve also goes to the adenoids, you know, your tonsils adenoids. Um, so a lot of kids that have their adenoids removed because their adenoids aren't working right, they could potentially have a subluxation in their neck at C4, not allowing that nerve to function right. Therefore, the adenoids won't function right. So that's why it's always imperative that kids get their spines checked to make sure it's not developing abnormally. Make sure the nerve, you know, if they have to get their tonsils or adenoids removed, make sure that that nerve is working right first before you go and have the surgery for it. So that's C4. Again, it's a lot of the muscles, you know, some other smaller structures. But um, again, the neck muscles going on into the shoulders. Uh, there's a little bit of innervation going into the actual shoulder joint itself too. So if somebody has shoulder problems, this is you know the mid to lower neck is where you have to look for that as well. So C4, if you know anybody that has problems with any of those, tell them to give us a call. We'll get them in and get it checked out.